Okay, so in the last video, I spoke about stretching paper because it didn't have the, the correct weight of paper. So this is the paper that I usually do the, um, the painting on, which is a 300 gram um, heavyweight acrylic paper. And so we're in lockdown, been the shops, they haven't had any more deliveries, so I can't get the one that I really enjoy using. So as an alternative, I already have plenty of this in because I do some pencil drawings and you can see one in the background there that I'm in the middle of doing. But unfortunately, this is not the most appropriate one to do your painting with. This is um, 220 gram. I mean, you can stretch paper even less than 220 gram. And the perfect thing about stretching paper is you can you can paint on it. You can use oil oil paints. You can use acrylics. You can do mixed media, and um, the paper will not buckle. So it, it's perfect for that. So what I'm going to do, I've just taken off the image that was already on my drawing board, which you've already seen, which is this one here, the last painting that I did. So I'm going to use a piece of this drawing paper i'm going to show you how i stretch now i haven't got a massive space as you can see let's pop them away i've only got this little happy place that i i do my painting in so what i'm going to do is show you how i stretch in this in this environment without any um showers or anything like that so i'm just going to put the paper away first thing you need to do step one is to wet the board and the reason for wet, wetting the board is so that when you put the paper down, it it grabs it. It doesn't stick to it because you're not using glue, but the wet will grab the paper. So stretch the area that you want to put the paper on. So all I'm using, as you can see here, is a little um, plastic, no, it's not plastic, metal container to hold the water. So popping that in the center. And again, using the sponge, don't over soak the sponge. And then I'm really just damping, damp all the area. So damp one side like I did then, nice and quick. Pop that back in there, turn it over. Again. Damp the other side. From the centre to the side, so you're kind of pulling it out. You're going in the centre and you're pushing the water to the side. So there's no air bubbles then. Okay, put that back in there. And I showed you this last week, the gum strip. Now, sadly, when you're buying anything on um, eBay, you don't know what size it is, do you? I thought this was thicker, but it's not. This is one inch. Ideally, you really want two inch. Okay, and I'm just going to tear off a couple of strips to the size that I want. So four sides. Three, four. Okay. Now this is sticky on one side, hence gum strip. Squeeze your sponge out, holding the top of your gum strip, just pull it down like so, and then on the top. Place it so it's about a centimetre or more over the paper, the dampened paper. Using your sponge, just go across. And that is it. Again, dampen the gum strip. <laughs> Some of these are a little bit longer than what they need to be. About a centimetre over. Push it down. Tear off the excess. If you can use it, put it back down again. No need to waste it's not expensive, the gum strip, but again, what's the point in wasting it? We're going to put a couple of layers of the gum strip on anyway, because it's only an inch. We want we wanted it a little bit more. You will start to see little areas of it starting to buckle. Do not worry about that. That will flatten off. Now I'm going to put another another layer on. I picked up this board um, from B&Q. 
it's not expensive it's quite a big board and then cut it in half so i've got two boards so there's no need to go buying expensive drawing boards from art shops your local diy will have an array of stuff that will be suitable okay so that's it that is it stage one you wet the board stage two you wet either side of the paper and stage three the gum strip all the way around if it's one inch put two on if it's two inch you're laughing with one so that's it there's nothing else to it let leave it to, to dry flat in a warm place and then in about what four hours time that'll be ready to use okay so good luck I'm going to do now, once this is dry, as I said, I'm going to show you how to do some textured effects. So in all the paintings that I've done, I've done a, a quite a different um, combination of textured effects. So the next, and I've got, I've got loads of these little booklets which show all the different things that you can do when you're using acrylics. So the next, the next video, I'm going to show you how to do all these. Looks good, doesn't it? See you then. Thank you. Bye now.